Welcome to my channel. My name is Shikama. So you can call me uh, a research fellow. That's actually what I did in school. Throughout school, I was always the uh, research fellow who did uh, uh, research for the various schools that I uh, were, were in. And uh, and uh, my last was uh, I was in uh, law school and I was a research fellow for for one of the professors there uh, and, and did uh, rope briefings for various laws and legislation that were going to be implemented into the law. This is uh, Anubis. Anubis is a big baby. This video will probably be demonetized uh, because the powers that be do not want this information. Uh, this is, I'm not being conspiratorial, it's just a fact of, of the market. They don't want this information. This is not. So if you uh, could, you could donate a dollar or more at paypal.me slash shikama. So uh, I'm talking about autism. I'm not a doctor. This is just for your own education, for your own research, and any anything that I talk about, this is something for you to go and research yourself. Um, if if there is an overwhelming support, uh, I will expound upon this video and and make a much longer, more detailed video. Uh, but please don't come at me saying, uh, "Where'd you get this? Where'd you get this?" This is for your research. I'm talking to so the. The possible person is a parent of somebody, of a child with uh, autism, right? Or maybe you yourself have autism. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, let me say that right off the bat. I know nothing about autism. Know nothing. I have no theories about autism. I have no conspiracies about autism. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But uh, I've... Uh, done a little bit of research uh, and uh, I've gathered some information over the years uh, that uh, of, of testimonials of people uh, and and uh, people attacking their doctors who actually did treatments for people who gave testimonials about uh, curing their uh, children of autism so that to me uh, speaks of course of conspiracy right so there's a conspiracy uh, a lot of people don't know how the word is used. Conspiracy can mean that there is a theory of what is going on that is being kept from the public. Uh, that goes hand in hand with conspiracy to squelch information, keep information out of the public eye. Uh, that You have to have the full definition of what the word conspiracy means. Okay, So, is your child throwing tantrums? Are they waking up screaming? Are they leaning over chairs and the arms of the sofa on their stomachs? Uh, he is probably in pain. Uh, does your child get frustrated talking to you and maybe he throws a, tra uh, throws a tantrum or goes into a fit? Uh, he's trying to communicate but can't, can't find the words. So this is the behavior. Uh, does your child stare off into the uh, distance or is he in a brain fog? Uh, uh, let me tell you that there are three forms of treatment. Uh, and uh, I'll say treatment. Uh, some people, they, as I noticed that in a lot of the stuff, they will not say cure. Uh, they will say reverse, but they won't say cure. But uh, they will say treatment. Now, so the three treatments are biochemical, uh, verbal, and oxygen therapy. The uh, oxygen therapy was the doctor that got attacked and they tried to uh, pull his medical license and then, and then they accused him of this and that and the other. And and the uh, woman who uh, made made a video go viral, viral uh, talking about her son who was, she said, cured. That might have been the, uh, the big, big, big thing. You can't say cure. Can't say cure. Uh, that might have been a big, the big, the big uh, triggering word for the uh, uh, medical board or whatever. Uh, and they went after her doctor. Now she, of course, turned around and said, 
Why are you going after my doctor? I said, and then of course people accused her of lying and saying that, no, your son didn't actually have autism. I don't know why I'm going off into this tangent uh, so early, but, but uh, the oxygen therapy, I'm sure you've heard like oxygen or Michael Jackson used oxygen therapy. Uh, he said it, uh, uh, caused him to sleep and the oxygen therapy has been used in uh, other protocols to uh, help with this that and the other uh, and uh, it has been shown to uh, treat I'll say treat I won't take care it has been shown to treat uh, some other things I have all of these lights but it seems like uh, I'm in the dark uh, now let's talk about the biochemical Biochemical, of course, is yeah, talking about diet. It's also talking about uh, detoxification at, at a real level. We're not talking about the, the lemon water detox. We're not talking about the uh, uh, apple cider vinegar detox. We're talking about some real stuff that is really going to uh, pull, pull heavy metals out of the body. Uh, it'll, it'll, it's going gonna, it's gonna to destroy. It'll be uh, antifungal. Uh, and also, it'll be a, a gluten-free diet and gluten sensitive. Now, when the gluten-free was the buzzword, and there and every store had gluten-free, and they had whole sections of uh, the grocery store with uh, gluten-free stuff. I did a little bit of research, and of course, found out that uh, th they said that in, in reality, it is rare for a person to be gluten sensitive it is it is rare it is rare 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 so everybody running around talking about uh, they need a gluten gluten free diet or they need gluten free bread <laughs> I, I don't know uh, maybe they're talking I don't know maybe they're talking about uh, I, don't, I don't know how do you get gluten free bread I don't know but uh, I found out that gluten sensitivity was a rarity. Now my mouth is watering. What's going on? Now let me say that uh, I believe my best, and of course you you just can't notice it until you until you notice it. Uh, that uh, I, uh, I, uh, I right. I started using this, and uh, this is of course this is kelp. Which uh, has the iodine in it, and uh, it's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to attach the heavy metals in the bottom of the body and uh, uh, extract the heavy metals uh, out of the body, uh, known as uh, detoxification. So the biochemical, uh, you can, the chelation, which is extracting the heavy metals, can be done orally, or it can be done topically. Now notice what it ex the, uh, they're extracting uh, uh, mercury of course i didn't write that down mercury mercury was one of the one of, of course the big ones and uh, the big ones uh also the uh, uh and antifungal so they have to remove the fungal fungus out of the body uh also the, uh, the gut bacteria uh they are trying to Remove the bad bacteria and, and then, of course, replace it with the good bacteria. This is all part of the biochemical um, solution protocol to uh, uh, autism treatment. Now, uh, notice all of this stuff. I'm not going to say it, but I want you to leave me a comment. Uh, comment. If you notice or understand... Uh, how is it that these young children are getting heavy metals? They're in one family, right? The rest of the family, no heavy metals. Uh, fine, fine, uh, fit as a fiddle, as they say, right? Heavy metal, fungus, gluten sensitivity. How? What? What is it that these children? are having in their life that the entire rest of the family who lives under the same roof does not have. How, how is this possible? 
you leave me a comment if you understand what's going on, right? I'm not going to say anything because I know that YouTube has now uh, said point blank that if you mention this in your video, you will you will be demonetized. Uh, also, uh, the first thing, of course, with all of this stuff is you need to uh, get, uh, add 100% patience to yourself as, as a parent of an autistic child. So you, the first thing you need to do, come to grips with is having patience yourself. Now, uh, I heard testimonials that the, they went to their doctor and the doctor said, oh, you need to beat your child. <laughs> How is that a di <laughs> diagnosis? That's a diagnosis for, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, for a, a black mother or, or a child that runs and rips and all and comes in and out of the door, uh, open my door and letting all the air conditioner, you know, the stereotypical joke. But di to die, your diagnosis, your prescription is to beat your child. Oh, and not, not just beat your child, but severely beat your child. Pediatricians giving out this information, giving out this uh, uh, prescription to, to parents beat your child severely I I I I don't know about that and, and they're board certified right uh also uh, uh of course this is not conspiratorial why is it not conspiratorial because there are board certified medical doctors out there who are dedicated uh, to uh, uh, treating your child, uh, treating autism, and treating autism, not just treating your child, you know, like a pediatrician wants to do, but, uh, you know, putting them on uh, all sorts of medications and stuff like that, uh, but actually treating the autism to come out to reverse the autism, all right? So, uh, uh so they will have certain protocols and what have board certified medical doctors who are dedicated to treating and reversing autism. Now, so now, uh, is autism, uh, is a diagnosis of autism a life sentence? So apparently it is not. Now, there are some people who are, who are so hesitant that they will say that uh, you can treat autism to such a degree that it will become the, the, the child will grow up to be undetectable uh, and be in uh, commiserate with their uh, uh, comparative to their peers so that a third grade child who was diagnosed with autism who has gone through treatment would be in regular class with other third grade children. They're so hesitant to say that the autism is cured. I'll leave it up to you. I'm not going to make any, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the host of the show. I'm a, I'll leave it up to you to say whether or not you think that's cured. Uh, and I don't know if, uh, if they're saying that they have to continue the protocols. But it, it, they're, uh, they're, they're, they could be uh, damaged and be very sensitive to stuff that other people might not be sensitive to. I'm talking about gluten and, 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 and heavy metals. Uh, the, the average adult has heavy metals in them uh, and the body doesn't overreact to it uh, and we're supposed to uh, get rid of it through the natural process. But if you do stuff like, uh, I don't have any links. I'm not selling anything. So this is all information just for you. Uh, I'm not selling anything. Uh, like I said, you can donate paypal.me slash Uh, I'm not, I'm not selling anything. This is for you to go and research. There are doctors who are dedicated to this. So if you're particular doctor uh, it says no the only way to treat autism is through a heavy pharmaceutical medication medication to make sure that the child uh, isn't throwing tantrums 
Th the child is throwing tantrums probably because he has mercury in his system and he can't communicate this. Now the last one is the verbal one and the verbal one uh, I think it's for and and uh, this is one of the testimonies that said that that one of the doctors that she went to that uh, tries to treat uh, autism said, uh, well, your particular son is on the scale a bit too far for the verbal. Uh, now they didn't put it in that words, but this is the this is my translation is what they were saying, and she was committed to doubling down to doing the verbal with her son. Now I'm assuming that by osmosis she also did you know chelation and the uh, biochemical stuff too uh, uh, but there is a verbal component to give uh, the uh, uh, child the verbal education to be able to communicate much better so that the child isn't doesn't become frustrated and uh, throws tantrums because they're trying to tell you what's going on but they don't have the uh, now imagine that just that note in somebody who's 20 years old uh and uh is uh and joining uh certain uh political groups and they they and they can't express themselves verbally so they go out and uh, uh they uh, uh burn down buildings and beat up people in the street who wear red hats I'm not saying nothing. You didn't hear that. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me because I ain't one to gossip. But I'm being serious. Imagine that that inability to communicate uh, uh, in somebody who is uh, 20 years old, you know, 20, 30 years old, right? Imagine that. Uh, imagine that the person can't communicate uh, what their wishes and and doesn't understand. You know, communication goes both ways, right? It's, it, 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 it means listening and speaking. Imagine that they don't, they can't, they refuse to listen to, hey, you don't have to, you don't have to burn down the building. You just, you just go vote in six months uh, or, or you sign a petition or, you know, or start a petition. You don't have to, you don't have to beat up people. You don't have to burn down buildings. Uh, uh, and I believe uh, you know, uh, autism is a spectrum. It goes all the way from mild to severe. That means that there are people walking around who are adults who probably have a mild form of autism, and we just uh, we're uh, we're just unaware of it, and we're we're actually not sensitive to. It. Hopefully, uh, you can uh, send them to this video and. Uh, Tell them, say, you know, Shikama said you might be mildly autistic, uh, so you might want to, you might want to get that checked out there, buddy boy, because uh, I see that you have a torch and a pitch, pitchfork in your hand, and uh, that speaks to uh, not, not totally being uh, all there. I'm, I'm making jokes, but I'm not making jokes. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment. Bye.